Hi, everybody. Welcome to The Spiritual View. I am Wendy, and today I'm going to be pulling some cards for a message from Spirit. If you are new to the channel, please check out our other videos. Um, we have lots of talented and gifted people on our channel. Uh, we have daily videos. We also have lives twice a week. Uh, hopefully you caught our live yesterday. We had a lot of fun. Um, let's see. Uh, we do some little free readings usually in our lives. On Mondays, our lives start at 10 a.m. Eastern. And on Fridays, our lives start at 6 p.m. Eastern. And again, it's a, it's a great chance to... Uh, put in some comments and sometimes we can do some little mini free readings for you guys. Okay. Let's see what messages want to come through. I'm starting out with just some Oracle cards, get kind of an overview, of the energies that we're working with. Okay. Underneath I've got, Follow your own good advice. Shine bright like a candle. It came up yesterday too. I want to be a queen. <laughs> All right. So you know what you need to do for yourself. You need to trust your intuition. And I mean, this is like, it's been a kind of a constant message, right? Um, trust yourself, trust your intuition, shine your light, be the light for others. And this, I want to be queen. It's like um, declaring your freedom, right? So really own it, really own it. Um, I think that's actually a really beautiful message that we've got coming in. Is there's a lot of upheaval and just kind of, you know, that yuck energy going around. And it's been that way for a little while now. And, you know, we've been talking about that on the channel the last couple of months too, right? We've got all this big change coming in, all this big energy that wants to come in. And um, yeah, change is, it's hard and it's difficult. And sometimes when we feel like we just don't know what the next step is or what the next thing is that we should be doing, uh, that's when things start to become more clear because things will just kind of naturally fall away or we realize, oh, we need to make space for something. Um, some of us are getting lessons in there. Some of us are getting tower moments where if we didn't choose that right off the bat, then it's being chosen for us and it's just kind of coming together, right? Making space for the new things that want to come in. Good things do want to come in, okay? I've been seeing that a lot over the past few weeks. And, you know, it's just these things, it's going to take time. It's going to take time for us to get our balance back. And that is totally okay. Because, you know, we want really great things to happen. And so on the opposite side of that, sometimes not so great things have to kind of happen first to clear the way, clear the space for all the good stuff to come in. All right, let's see where we're going. What message wants to come through? So underneath we have the Empress. Been talking about that a lot too. This kind of a rebirth, this, you know, divine feminine energy is coming in really strong. Uh, we also have the five of pentacles, right? Some of us leaving relationships, either leaving someone behind or being left behind by someone. You know, there's been a, a lot of that going on. Oh, the emperor. Nice. So 
There could be some kind of soulmate energy coming through, working with that divine feminine. We've got the divine masculine working hand in hand. Beautiful. Um, and the five of swords, right? Changing how we communicate, changing the way that we think about things. Most definitely. And the ace of cups, seeing this a lot too. New relationship wants to come in. New love that wants to come in. All right. And the hanged man, because I saw it. Ah, okay. I'm going to pull another one too. The hanged man, you know, having to change the way we look at things, changing our perspective. Sometimes we have to kind of pull back and look at the big picture and not just what's right in front of us, right? Changing our perspective. And then I'm going to end this with the death underneath. Definitely going through this transformation, closing of one door, opening another. Um, it's, I feel like this energy is going to be with us for a while. Okay. As we all kind of transition here. All right. And I've got the King of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles. So lots of earth energy here, right? Um, which it, we're talking about stability, work, doing the day-to-day -day things. We we still have to do those things and get and get through, even though we're, you know, learning our lessons and making room and doing all of these things, there's still we have to persevere and, and do these things. Um, it, it can sometimes feel like you're uh, kind of so focused on the day-to-day -day that you might feel kind of stuck in that um, energy. And, um, but it's really, in a way, it's, it's, a, it's a gift, you know, you've got that, um, that's, it's something to be thankful for that you have that steady groundedness that you can pull to every day, right? Um, you can always kind of pull your energy back to you and get grounded and feel like you can breathe again, right? Um, it's, it's funny how so many things, is life is so much about balance and there's, you know, there's two different sides to everything. There's the yin and the yang and the, you know, you could call it a double-edged sword. You could call it the other side of the coin, whatever you want to do. But there's always, you know, there's that balance between one and another. So even though uh, having that, the little details of your day-to-day -day life, because it can sometimes make you feel like, oh, it's just, it's the same thing just over and over. And it's, you know, you can feel kind of stuck in that energy, but at the same time, it's, um, it can be comforting and, and, and help you and help ground yourself so that you can manifest other things, more things beyond that, that you want to do. All right. We've also got the eight of cups. Yes. The eight of swords. Oh, look at all those eights and the queen of wands. Okay. Yes. So definitely moving into, um, you know, being willing to leave behind what no longer works for you, what no longer serves you, um, being able to move forward on your path, right? Uh, the Eight of Swords, uh, again, you can be feeling like you're kind of stuck in this situation and you're not quite sure how to move forward or what the next step is, um, but you just be going towards what you love, what you're passionate about, what I've said this again and again, um, go towards what makes you happy, what brings you joy, right? That's how you get unstuck, um, by taking those steps and doing it. And, you know, it's it can be, it can be small things, little things in your day um, that you do for you. That kind of, you know, that self-care, I think, Again, we get so wrapped up in the details of the day that sometimes we forget to take care of ourselves, right? We get forget to ask ourselves, is this what I want? Is this what I need to be doing? You know, is this the direction I want to be going in? And I think for the most part, most of us are going in the right direction. It's just kind of slow going. So sometimes we 
need to remind ourselves that, yes, I am building the life that I want. Yes, I am working towards those goals. Yes, I, I am looking to move towards the things that make me happy and bring me joy and that I'm passionate about, right? Okay, let's keep going. Got the three of pentacles, the nine of swords, and the star. Okay, so a lot of us, is it is going to be a trying time, okay? We need to be able to work with other people. Um, this card came up yesterday in the live too, and I remember saying, that it was kind of about uh, look at who you're working with, not so much what you're doing or the little details of what you're doing, but who are you surrounding yourself with, right? Um, think about, this is very much about a collaboration and working together. Um, gathering up, you know, your your tribe, your people around you and, and working together and supporting each other and lifting each other up, right? Because without that, you get into this nine of swords energy of just feeling really, you know, just that anxiety and that fear and, and it can just be, you know, really just it can be a real downer and just really bring you down and that's not where you want to be you don't want to be in that energy you want to surround yourself with your tribe your people right lift yourself up because we've got the star here this beautiful healing energy that wants to come in so we really need to be healing ourselves and healing each other right remember we had shine that light right shine bright like a candle right yeah, that healing energy that wants to come through and we need to be healing ourselves and that's going to spread to others and just help other uplift other people and help with their healing. And it's just a, a beautiful thing that we're all doing together, working together, right, to build this beautiful community. And I think that's just amazing. All right. I'm going to look at some next steps moving forward. The Three of Swords, the Page of Cups the 10 of cups and the page of pentacles. All right. So again, uh, I'm getting a message of this, this love that wants to come in. We've got this um, with the three of swords and the page of cups and the 10 of cups. So there's definitely a chance for some of you, remember we've got that um, eight of cups and the five of cups before for kind of leaving a relationship or being left behind. It's like, there's definitely some of you that are still going through this where you're having to have that kind of heartbreak a little bit, right? To make room for this new love that wants to come in, right? You've got this message of love with the page of cups, and then you've got the 10 of cups, which is kind of like everything that you've been manifesting that you want to have um it it wants to come in um but you also have this page of pentacles which is saying you know kind of have patience it it it'll take time you need to have this you know this kind of breakup or you know where you're 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 moving on you're changing um you're changing your story, right? You're changing your story. So you need to give yourself time to, to heal from that. Don't forget, we have that star energy that wants to come in, right? So we need to heal um, from this and and allow space for, for this to come in. But we need to have patience. It's not going to happen immediately. It's going to take time. Um, and because we aren't ready for this new stuff to come in. Not really. We still have some healing to do. We still have some work to do. We still really need to create that space and raise our own vibration and, and 
make sure that we're in a really good place to to bring this in, right? Because let's not forget what we put out into the world is also what we bring back in. Remember, fear is very loud, very, very loud, and it can be hard to ignore. And we don't want to hold on to that fear, right? You want to listen to your intuition, which is very quiet, right? And you want to raise the vibration of that, that intuition, that little voice inside you that is telling you, like, remember, follow your own good advice. You know what you want. Let that, let that be what you're building up. Okay. So that you can shine that light and then you can own it. Remember, I want to be queen. Then you get to own it. All right. I think that's just a beautiful, lovely message coming in. I think we all need the reminder that we're, you know, we're getting through, we're doing the work. We are creating the space and healing and learning and growing and changing. And there's just so much change going on and we kind of got to roll with it. And it's okay to, you know, focus on your day to day. Try not to get discouraged about feeling like you're stuck in that because you are working towards what you want to be manifesting and what you want to have in your future. It's just, you know, we're still on kind of the long road there. So don't lose hope. Don't give up. Uh, we're working. We're chipping away at it every single day, all of us together. And we're here together to remind each other and to help with the healing and support each other and cheer each other on, right? All right. Well, I hope that helps. If you like this video, please subscribe, share, like, and comment. And I'll see you guys next week. Thanks.